How's it going, guys? What's up, Frank Z here? So, I'm gonna show you what I did here. So, this shed is my original power shed. I'm just gonna keep all the batteries, everything in here, and this is where all the power is gonna be created and then pushed up to the house. But, this got, never got finished. It's a little bit hard to keep warm in the winter and keep the house warm with the same system so I decided to kill two birds with one stone and keep it all up there so this shed used to be run on an inverter to get its power for the lighting and for all the anything else I want to use in here so what I've done was switched my AC lighting to DC and mainly it's just the bulbs oh, there's a little bit of process got a bag of these bulbs they're not nothing special they're cheap they're about two bucks a piece and they're just a regular socket 120 uh, regular 120 AC socket and it's changed to a 12 volt so it cannot do 120 volt if you put that in a regular socket it'll pop it but 12 volt it can do I think it can actually do up to 24 volt so not 100% on it though but for what it is these guys it's just a uh, Unscrew the old one, screw in the new one. But there's also another catch. The system is a hot wire and a negative and a neutral. That was before. So the hot wire will become your positive and the neutral will become your negative. And the reason for that is because this wire, the hot, is separated in the switch here so the hot actually runs through the switch which you kind of usually put switches on the positive side on a DC system I'm sure it would run fine either way but this is how I chose to do it so and also makes this outlet here because this is also in the circuit it'll turn this outlet so this is my positive this is my negative so and maybe up to 15 amps so it isn't very much that you can run on there but you can run something through that plug at 12 volt so what you do is just put your regular uh, plug on and make sure your positive goes to the little plug and your negative goes to the big plug or the big slot whatever you want to call it not me so yeah and that's all it is, and I'll show you, it works pretty good. It's a nice bright light, especially at night. Close this guy up a bit. There you go, nice and dark in here. Oh, I do got the light on, so. But, yeah, it's just as bright as a regular, uh, regular bulb. They're great. Especially at night time, like this is more than bright enough at night. Let's see. They make great flashlights too. But anyways, just showing you. It's very, very easy. You can run through the same plugs. This is an AC switch. Cheap, like two bucks for that. You know, two bucks for the holder. Very, very cheap. And it's a very easy switch. It's just, and I even chose to put it on these guys here, so I didn't have to tap into my charging circuit. So yeah, this whole bag's just parallel. It's twelve volts, twelve volts, twelve volts. I should actually take these guys off because uh, they were much newer than these ones and they're actually pushing power into there.
but when it comes time to discharging, those guys will discharge much faster than these ones, obviously, so it hurts those batteries. But, anyways, we are still picking up a charge. I'm not sure the time, but like I said, the light, it's a great light. Huge difference. And it's only 12 volt. You keep the same circuit wiring that'd be in your house. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Just a little uh, test and it works fine. Thanks.